guys so i want to take you guys i don't think i've ever done a video in my room like showing you how i lay my bed and just thought to take you guys along today to show you how i lay my bed let's go guys mm. if you have been following my channel you know that i make bed sheets like this one is standard is hotel standard like how i explain it is um hotel standard and this one if i make it for you with a full duvet like this duvet now see the duvet i'm gonna use now i have another one maybe the day i'll be doing that one i'll let you know so guys let's go let me take you guys along as a lay this bed so you can see how this bed sheet looks on this bed it's so 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 beautiful so when you want to buy the sheets in Abuja, just call me. I'm always here for you. you. Make your room look like a hotel. So this is the duvet. You can see how beautiful this is. So we also have the blue and white, different type. So guys, this is sick. So my kids are declustering all the, the things. Are you giving out this swing trunk? No. Okay. Just clustering everything they are not gonna use again. But this one you're giving them out, right? Mm -hmm. Get a bag now. I used to like this your top end. Eh? Oh god, I love it so much. It's no longer your size. You probably have grown. Okay. Give it out, give it out. More will come. Mm -hmm. ah, all this will be going out. My kids just love to give things out. And it's good though. But one of the things I've told them that please, anything they want to give out, they should check it with me. Since I'm the one buying, right? So they just on the other they just pack things and be giving out. Anyway, some people will say they lent it for me. So uh, these are the things they are giving out. They packed according to the people they are giving to. So right now I want to go to the kitchen and make food. Afternoon food. I'll take you guys along. So guys, I'm in the kitchen. Now. I'm trying to keep this phone in a good way so that I don't even know what to make for them. Maybe boil yam with stew or yam and egg. Oh man, it's been where we mean. Okay, let's go, guys. So, guys, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about something. I went to, for a long time, I've not gone out. I've not even been able to go to church. So, on Sunday, I, I eventually went to church because I couldn't sit for like one one week. So I eventually went to church on Sunday and when we got back, went to buy some things for uh, those of you who that who would have watched my other video, you see where I went to a shop to buy things like the shop right. And then we got to a place in before you enter the shop right, you see um or maybe the let's say the Jabi Lake Mall, you see where they have paintings and all. So my kids love paintings a lot. I think they took that from me because my husband used to buy paintings for me a lot. So when they saw this painting they went to admire it in fact for if i i was even tempted to buy that painting but what happened was that while my kids were admiring the painting you know how children would just stand and be showing pointing at something the lady just said get out of that place her face was just you know stoned i was like hey, excuse me she didn't know that they came with their mother and i was standing behind the pillar so i just came out and i told her there and there that she should never try that again she should never speak to my children in that manner then she started smiling trying to cover up when my husband came because he went to pick his atm card i was telling him and then she was trying to the other man that said they said no what she did was wrong the security man told her what she did was wrong you know this thing is i'm saying this to parents when people go out and try to disrespect your children stand your ground except that child actually did that it, but in fact guys those of you who have traveled out when you see paintings, don't you go and even touch it to see how beautiful it is. In this case, they didn't even touch it. Our artworks not supposed to be appreciated. So a lot of these people do this because they're looking for money. They don't know the love behind um, artworks, you know. They spoke to my kids disrespectfully and then I gave it to her. I told her never in her life. 
I'm one person that, yes, I'm a disciplinarian. And you mothers or fathers, don't go out there thinking that, mm, so that you'll be seen like someone that is disciplined. So your children, somebody insults your children, disrespects your children, and you stand in public to, to shout on your children. Don't do that. It reduces their self-esteem. Because I stood up for my children. They had, they will see that they have this confidence. I teach my children to respect people and be kind to people. So if I will stand there and see somebody disrespect them and I don't say anything, it will not make sense. Anyway, guys, let me take you guys along, my day. Ah, it's well alone. So, guys, you know, this season, you know, they have done, they have started planting yam, or rather, yam is ready, the new yam is ready. So, the yam has dried up with water. So, now, if you want to boil yam, hold yam, you have to use your pistol to pound it like this very well. So that when you boil the yam, it will be soft. I don't know if you understand. This will help it to be soft for you to boil. But if you don't beat it like this, hey, the yam will be so strong. And please always cut your yam in cube form. It's not small so that it will be done. Guys, it will cook very well. Yam is so expensive. Five tubers of yam now is about eleven thousand something. Eleven thousand five hundred. But we'll still eat in this Nigeria, no matter what they do. There are some families that don't even eat yam again because it's so expensive, it's so pricey. Come, they go continue to provide for us because it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm not. It's not easy. Like if you want to plant now, if you are to plant now, this is the part you plant. I don't know if you are seeing it. You can see it's already germinating, sprouted out. It's all the English sprouting already. <laughs> you plant it. You can plant this one now. You, you, you still, you know, get yam. I tell people that you can actually plant yam in your where you live, even if your house is um interlocked, has interlocking tiles. You can still plant yam in bags. So this is how me I peel my own yam. So. To so even see yam now that will not be bad. Hmm. It's grease. So I cut it in cube in smaller pieces so that it will cook faster and it will not finish my gas. <laughs> even though most we buy backup gas, but then again, do you want the gas to finish fast? Now gas is cheaper than food in Nigeria. Hmm. Every Nigerian is complaining, except for those who have even those who have money because the other day, one very wealthy Bilonia's daughter sent somebody, one of her uh, domestic staff, to buy tomato basket of tomato, and she posted it on her Instagram that she cannot believe that she bought a basket of tomato for eight thousand. <laughs> I say, okay, well, if rich people, wealthy people like this, can be complaining, I don't know what some of us will now will now be talking about. I don't know what some of us will be talking about. See, so I'm going to boil this for the kids, and I shall take you guys along.
Some people say they don't put salt in their yam. Yeah, I put salt oh. in a boiling yam. I add salt to it before boiling. Hello, guys. So, Daniel and his siblings said I should go and join the choir. <laughs> so, uh, why are you looking surprised? You don't want me to tell them. They said I should join the choir. Salem, come. So, I want to ask Daniel why he feels I should join the choir. Salem also said I should join the choir, so I want to find out. Why do you think I should join the choir? Because you have a very good voice Speak. and a very good leader. I have a good voice and I'm a good leader. Yes. Really? Ah, ah. But you did not have this leader on that way you're telling me. I have a good voice and I'm a good leader. Hmm. Okay, Salem. Why do you feel I should join the choir? Because... Speak so that they can hear you. Because you are going to do well on stage. I'm going to do well on stage. Hey, please. So, oh, in case you are an uh, artist manager, <laughs> they say I'll do well on stage. So, guys, these children have just been like, "Mommy, you sing so well. I think you should join the choir." And I told Salem that. Okay, someone is here. Uh, come and tell them. Why did you say I should join choir? Oh, yeah, tell them. Because you have a good voice. Speak to them now. You're telling them so that they come and sign me. Someone look here. Mm -hmm. Because you have a good voice. I have a good voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Just it's just just being having a good voice that make you join choir. What other thing do you think? Because um, Daniel said I'm a, because I'm a good leader. <clears throat> so. Because you perform well on stage. I'll perform well on stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, no wahala. Thank you guys. <laughs> so those of you watching, you have seen that now. My kids have already told you. I'll perform well and I'm a good leader. Mm -hmm. So come and sign us. <laughs> the hustle is real. Hello guys, I don't know um, if you have kids, those of you that have kids that love to take um, yam and palm oil. But for me, because I feel that sometimes I hit the oil, even though I don't like frying things, sometimes I hit the oil so that it can just taste differently for them. Or sometimes I mix the palm oil with the, um, the vegetable oil, just so that it will give them that good taste. Sometimes I use onions. To make it i don't fry things i don't like frying things so my kids they stew fresh uh, fish stew catfish but they said no they want to use palm oil <laughs> so i don't know comment down below what do you do when your children say they don't want stew they don't want eggs you can see up there we have eggs about two crates but they don't want they want palm oil my kids are so easy. In fact, they like to sip Gary. My husband stopped them recently that they should not sip Gary again so that they, it will spoil their eyes. My kids are very easy. They can sip Gary and just go go along their way. That they don't even bother you. But just that like me, as a mother that loves to give children healthy meals, I just do I just find time to cook for them or their father will do the cooking and God has been helping us. So comment down below tell me what your kids like with bold yam so i'm going to use grand oil um, i know you see grand oil um, they're supposed to pay me because i've always advertised them i don't know why i'm always no cholesterol so i'm going to use grand oil add little palm, add palm oil to it so that you can give them one you know change grand oil is made from i think bambara nuts i don't know so it's made and it's purely made in Nigeria. Purely made in Nigeria and approved by the Nigerian Heart Foundation. <gasps> okay, palm oil. Now, this one is even a very good palm oil, it didn't congeal, you know, because of the way that now palm oil congeals. But see, this one, it didn't even congeal. Our palm oil is very good. So, people don't know that I saw palm oil. I saw raw food. I <laughs> cooked food. Don't <laughs> enter our video.
this our hair. We need to go and we need to go. We have a tutorial to do to shoot later. You for those of you who don't know that we have a hair channel. On that channel, we do hair, skin, and makeup. We teach people. Hey, so we have a hair content to shoot. I pray I have the strength to shoot this hair content. And um, you can subscribe if you want to. The channel's name is Beauty by Coty. So, it's not compulsory, but if you feel that you want to support us, you can follow the channel. So, she also wants me to sing in the choir. She said, because I have a good voice. Okay, guys, we'll take you along as we continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bill. Mm -hmm. Let's go so that we can start making your. We need to. I'm using her for content. That's why I lose it. We want to keep her hair for plenty content before we make her re hair. Baby, don't worry. We'll start. We'll soon start paying you for content. <laughs> yeah. We'll soon start paying. When we start our. When we open our studio, we'll start paying. See how fast the yam is. It's done. It's ready. See. Mm. Yummy. Mm. No wonder children. You know that time when your baby is like maybe six months, is learning how to eat. Seven months, you match yam, add palm oil, and give them to eat. I think that's why children like palm oil. I don't know. Maybe even the children you don't even give to. They just like palm oil. I think our children now like to look at our things. See how this. Mm. Mm. You cut this much more. It will cook faster and save time. Mm. Mm. So, once I tell them, it is ready. Everybody comes to pick their spoon. I love to rinse plates. I don't know. Who else does this? I love to rinse plates if I put food for these children. For anybody, I must rinse my plates. Even if I just finish washing those plates, I will still have to rinse it. Thank you guys for watching.